Today on Cat's Moses Woodworking, we're gonna make these really cool medium light duty parallel clamps out of wood uh, with steel tubing, uh, half inch steel tubing. If you want, I have free plans available on my website that have full size paper templates. You can cut them out and make your own. Or I also am selling the MDF templates on my website. I have all five pieces needed to make this and also come with all the hardware except for the tube. Now, this isn't my original design idea. In fact, I, I think Lee Nielsen sells one like this, and I've seen lots of these videos on YouTube, but I think I came up with some creative solutions that uh, really help increase the strength and durability of these, and I think you're gonna really like it. So let's head over to the planer and mill up some square stock, and then we'll get putting these together. Okay, so now we need to mill our lumber, and what I'm really concerned about is the width of the center pieces, so that's this one and this one. We really want those to be the exact width or slightly proud of our steel bar. Obviously we're using half inch by half inch steel bar, so it's 0.5 and a little extra. So I'm gonna aim to get these just above 0.5 by just a small, small fraction. And I'm gonna do my other pieces that way as well because I mean, that's an inch and a half thick clamp. That's plenty of thickness and it'll just make everything easy. Okay, so let me walk you through my strategy on making these. Now, uh, the plans, which again are free on my website, have a full size version, so you could literally cut those out and tape them onto a template, or there's a whole dimensions page and you could make your own. But if you purchase the templates from my website, let me talk about my strategy, what I would do for each one of these. So flush trimming pieces this small, that's just a little too crazy. Um, I may do these these outer jaws, uh, some of the flush trimming, like maybe this inner part, because again, this cutout doesn't matter at all. This is the only part here that's gonna contact uh, anything you're clamping. So, um, you know, a simple flush trim bit through there with the material cleared out should do a pretty good job. You cut that with a handsaw, literally doesn't matter. The most important part is everything is two inches tall, obviously, uh, except for the cam lever. And so I'm gonna rip strips that are exactly the same size, that are exactly two inches, and then then uh, that'll allow me to cross cut all these pieces and get them to the exact right size. I'll be able to use my Cat's Moses No Deflection Universal Stop Lock for that. And uh, we should be able to get perfect rectangles using just the table saw. And then where some tracing is gonna come in, we're gonna move over to our center pieces here. Uh, these are slightly different widths, so you can't cut these the same width because of how they interact with the square steel tube. So uh, what I'll do here then, this cutout doesn't matter either, except for this line. You want that to be pretty exact because when you release the lower jaw, when you cut this line here, which is also marked on the templates, then you want that to be free. You don't want it to be glued down. So uh, I, I may use a flush trim bit there somehow, maybe double stick tape down. We'll see, that might be too sketchy. And then on the, le the cam lever here, this piece also kind of doesn't matter. Like you could easily trace this out, cut it close with the bandsaw and get down close with the sander. Uh, as long as you get this curve basically right, it doesn't have to be very perfect, and this hole right there, then you'll be able to uh, make that work. Because it's just a cam lever, it doesn't have to be some exact science uh, radius. Um, and then all the holes in the templates are perfect eighth inch holes, so you can use an eighth inch drill bit to drill that out. And then if you uh, get the pins that I'll show you here in a little bit that come with the templates, uh, those are eighth inch as well. Or you can use whatever fastener you like. The one thing I will warn you if you come over here to the movable outer jaw, this is the lower jaw, is these two holes are based on an eighth inch pin. So if you go bigger than that, I would move these holes out some, otherwise you're gonna run into a problem like this. This was a prototype I did and I used uh, 1032, which is like just about a quarter inch. And you can see my lower jaw is really, it, it won't go parallel. Uh, which isn't crazy important, I guess, but you kind of want it to be pretty close. So if you go bigger, remember to space those holes out a little bit further so you can get parallel. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the table saw, getting these down to size, and then we're gonna work on getting all the pieces cut out. Then we're gonna glue them together and drill our holes. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna do that first or after the glue up. Uh, it just depends. It might be really easy to align them if you drill the holes first, because then you can just use your eighth inch drill bit to line them up for glue up. So uh, let's go ahead and get started and get these pieces sized up.
Okay, so we're going a little out of order here because I have extra templates at my disposal, but if you only have one set of templates, what I would do is stick your template on, drill your holes, and then flush it up. And that ensures from piece to piece that all your holes get in the same spot. Also for the pieces that have two in them, like the outer jaws of the upper and lower part of the clamp, um, I did two at a time that way. I know those two pieces that are gonna go together are gonna have their holes in the same spot and be the exact same size. So we're going to go ahead and drill all our holes down a little bit out of order. Also, you saw me sand these with the template on there. If you buy the templates, don't do that. Uh, it's just sand down to your line. I was being lazy, um, but again, I've got extra templates. So let's do some drill. Okay, so I've taken off my templates, except for the last thing you wanna do on the lower jaw, which is the one with four holes. This is where the cantilever guy is gonna go. These two holes are what is gonna allow it to slide up and down. And then this one here, I kept for alignment, and that's also gonna keep the wood from splitting when we release this kerf here. Um, so what you wanna do before you take this template off is very carefully mark where your kerf goes, that way when you have this put together, you can cut it all at the same time and that way you don't have any pieces that are still stuck together. Okay, so we're gonna put these together and there's each one is done a little differently but they're relatively the same. So I have these really cool machine pins that they're eighth an inch and they expand when you pound them in. Stop it. And it's gonna help everything stay together. And the reason we drilled all our holes before we flush trimmed everything is now everything is the exact same size with holes in the exact same place. So on this one, we're gonna put pins in. On the top one, we're not, I'm gonna show you why in a sec. So the way that this goes together is this hole right here, you gotta remember is your kerf and that's gonna get cut right under there. Um, and that's so that the wood doesn't split. So you do not wanna put a pin in there. You could use like an eighth inch drill bit for alignment if you need to, but you don't want to leave a pin in there. And then you're gonna put in your your cantilever lever, um, and you wanna make sure that the fat side is facing out because that's gonna rotate on your pin and it's gonna push this up, your clamp up. So we're gonna put pins in three holes. One, two, three, and then we are going to go ahead and glue up our top fixed jaw. Now this one, they have holes for pins, but you are not gonna put them in yet. You, this one you're gonna have to be real careful and line up really good because you still have to drill your holes for your half inch by half inch steel square tube. And so we need to glue this up and then after it's dry, you can put your tube in there and mark where the holes go and then drill those out or you can drill through your maple if you want to, um, and then your holes are gonna get in the exact same place, and then you put the pins in. Uh, sorry, I don't know if I said, but each uh, set of templates is gonna come with eight pins, so you don't have to buy a bag of 250 like I did. Uh, you know, try and help you guys out, save, save a little bit of money. So let's go ahead and put these together, get them clamped up, and then we'll let them dry and uh, finish this thing up. All right, there's two things left to do. Uh, we need to drill our holes and attach our upper jaw to our steel tube, square tube. So what I like to do is I put it in there and then I'll just mark it with like a punch or you could do it with the eighth inch drill bit. You could clamp it in there and drill it straight with the drill here. But I'm gonna mark it out and then go over to the drill press and do it because it's a little bit easier for me to do there. Other thing we need to do is cut our kerf here. We need to release our clamp. And you may wanna do a little bit of sanding here first. Just get that totally clean and flush. Get any glue out of there that you missed. Um, and then you want to mark out your kerf. And remember, we marked it down the side there, so it should be very easy to do. And I'm gonna use my Matt Eslia marking knife. He hand makes these. This one's out of snake wood. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thanks again, Matt, if you're watching. We're just gonna mark that very easily and then head over to, you could do it on the bandsaw or with your Suizan Ryoba, which is available in the Cat's Moses store. And then we're gonna kind of chamfer the corners, give everything a light sanding and finish this baby up and see how she works.
Okay, that was a lot of fun to do. Let's see how they work. Let's see if we can get some uh, squeeze out here. So the trick to these, when you're putting them on, you kind of want to hold the, uh, the bottom part just so that it engages with the bar. And then once you get it tight, you can crank on it. There we go, look at that. We got squeeze out, both sides. And I mean, those are, those are holding really, really well. Um, you can make these any length, which is super cool. And it's just a fun project. You kind of learn the mechanics of clamping. And these are like parallel clamps in a way. You could use the center part to clamp or even down here. Actually, no, you could not do it down there because the clamping pressure is in the top two thirds. Um, but they sit on your bench really nice. They're really simple and easy to use. And yeah, wow, that's already on there. Um, and we can do panel glue ups, whatever. I mean, they, you're not gonna get a thousand pounds of clamping pressure like a Bessie parallel clamp, but this is a fun project. So I have the templates, that's all five pieces you need, and it comes with the eight pins. Oh, one thing that I did do when I was putting these in, couple tips actually. Um, one is I made the eighth inch holes in the steel a little bit bigger. I went the next size up in my drill bit case. Um, I'm not gonna say the size because then I'll do it wrong and you guys will roast me in the comments, but go a size up, uh, helps with alignment. And then if you screw up the alignment, because sometimes when you're drilling through a steel tube, uh, if you're not coming straight 90, like if you're coming 89, it can kind of wander a little bit when you go to the second side. So if you have to, you can cut one of these in half and go in from either side and you'll be just fine. Because these things, I mean, this is like rock solid. That's on there. So uh, these pins work really, really well. Uh, if not, you can use a bolt or a screw for any part of this. You don't really need the, the pins if you uh, are making these templates yourself. Go head over to my website and uh, if you want to pick up a stop block dovetail jig or the free plans for these, uh, you can do so. Uh, that'll be linked down below. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.